Ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michaela here. That intro was just a little fun, just a little fun. But um, today we're going to be trying some new um, KKW products. Like they're new to me. I think um, the only thing that's new is the Classic Two Palette and the glosses. Um, but yeah, I've never tried her brand before. We're gonna get into some um, some lippies, and it's gonna be good. Um, I just wanted to try out her brand just because I don't see many videos on women of color trying out her products. We don't have to get into that, but, um, I was interested in like, you know, I watch her show. Well, I've been watching, I take breaks watching the show, but like, I just got Hulu. So I've been watching the latest season and like her makeup always looks so good. And it's just very, my aesthetic, very natural, neutral glam, you know, like just my aesthetic. So I was like, let me try out her products and like do a review and put it on YouTube because I'm sure there's other girls like me who are interested and then they go on YouTube to see how everything looks and they can't find anything or, you know, they have to look at how it looks on other skin tones. So um, everybody who I watched was pretty much um, a deeper to deep dark skin tone that tried her makeup. So I think I would be one of the medium to tan to medium skin tones um, on the medium side. I feel like I'm medium um, to try it out. So if you wanna see how I liked everything, um, just keep on watching. So, I only have like a few items to try. I went ahead and did my full face, except for the products that I'm going to be using today. Unfortunately, they sent my order wrong, so I wasn't able to try out the concealer. Um, I was excited about that. I haven't heard back from the team. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, but I sent an email letting them know that they sent me an extra gloss and not my concealer. Um, if there's any issues with that, I'm going to go back and pick up the concealer kit because like, I don't know why, but like I've been really into concealers lately. But anywho, let's just get started. The packaging, y'all, the aesthetic of like it all is just so cute. So I got the um the blush classic mattes ones. I don't like uh, a lot of shimmer blush. Um, This is big. Like, hold on. Like, this is the Alamar Cosmetics one, the trio that looks like this. And then, do I have another palette? Like, the little, compared to the little ABH, like, I think I paid, like, 30 bucks for this one. Like, so it's, like, bigger and then like, you know. And I paid 38 for this one. So, I felt like I got my money's worth. And, like, I love, y'all know I love blush. So, it's got three shades. Um... Should I swatch? So I'm gonna go in with this first peachy shade. And we all know swatches are relative. So this is how the swatches look. Um, we all know like, you can't really swatch blushes, but I just wanted to show y'all how they look. So I'm gonna go in with, do I wanna go pink? I'm gonna go with this one actually. There is a lot of kick up, can you see it? <sighs> oh, that's a really pretty color. Might be my new fave. <sighs> yep, that's pigmented. I love that. That's pretty. Nice and soft. 
muted like orange complements my skin tone for sure I love this looks good so yep this is the blush palette like this and then I picked up um I picked up the combo the classic combo where you get the two palettes for um 85 they're normally 45 each I think um the packaging again like the aesthetic i think i'm gonna give her her own drawer because like this stuff is so cute so this is the original classic palette i wonder how this is gonna show up on my camera because like it was giving me like washed out colors but like it's very warm toned i love it and it's only um it's only three shimmers in this one like this golden um, bronze shade, then this reddish bronze, and then like this uh, inner corner highlight. Like, I don't think I would use this on my lid, but the matte shades are pretty. Like, all of these look good. And I would use this one in the center of my lid, like when I do a smoky type eye. If y'all want me to use this um, on Instagram, just let me know. It's an older launch, so that's why I'm not featuring it on my YouTube. So, that's that one. And then the latest one, the new one that she just came out with is the Classic 2. It looks pretty much the same. I already got, got makeup on it, but this is how the Classic 2 looks. So this one is warm, but it's mostly cool tone, like cool tone, like neutrals. Um, I like, um, I'm trying to get into, yeah, get it all in there. So I like this shade here. Um, that's like the warmest brown in the palette. And then I like, um, it has like four shimmers in this one. So you get like a gold, like a true gold, like a taupey brown, um, shimmer. Then like this pewter with like gold glitter and then like this, um, satin. I don't even know what to describe this. Um, I'm going to insert swatches now so you can see them. And then when you come back, I'm going to make a look using this. One. So this is how the top row looks on me um her shadows feel pretty good actually is the second row this is my favorite row like i feel like i'm gonna live in this second row and i feel like i'm gonna live in that classic palette because these are just my type of shades so i'm ready to create a look <laughs> okay so to start with transition i think i'm gonna go here in here with these two like beigey colors. I just have concealer on my lids, nothing crazy. Just gonna mix those shades. Give me a smooth base. And I know what, I might even, I'm feeling matte today. I think it's her packaging. I'm actually gonna sweep this all over my lid and up onto my brow bone. <sighs> yeah, just give me like a blank slate to work with. Okay, now I wanna go in with um, this warm tone brown. There's a lot of kick up, so should be some <sighs> pigment there. I didn't, I didn't um, shake off the exit, the excess. Just then I placed it all in the corner and it all showed up. So if you just place it carefully, you shouldn't have any fallout. It's when you go in swiping already, when you don't shake the excess off, that it goes all over your face and ruins your makeup. So just go ahead and place it and then go back in and blend it. I love this shade. Place it, then blend. I'm putting this all over my crease. I'm gonna do the same for this eye. Seems like her shadows play well together. This is a very everyday palette. Like I live for the natural glam.
Oh, I want to, I want to go into another shade, but I don't want to go any smokier. I just don't want to. We don't have to do two looks because I don't want to go any smokier with this palette and like, I'm going to have to. So let's see, let's go with a lid shade. What am I feeling today? I'm not feeling gold. Let's try um, this one. So I just used Manifest, Neutral and Abundance. Then I used Manifest and now I'm about to go into Energy on the lid. And this is like a dark bronze shade. This is fire. I love a look like this. It's just so simple and glam. And then right on top of that, I'm gonna go into um, gravity right here and pop that on top. Ooh, that's even smokier. I probably should shade, save this one. And then I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line and I'll be right back. And now for my inner corner, I'm gonna go into solar. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of solar and put it right in the center of my lid. Just to give a little gold shift. And I go in with my brush and just clean it up. Yeah. Love. Yeah, we're gonna do one more look. But like, that's pigmented really pigmented let me do my eyeliner and my mascara and then i'll come back to show you some lippies all right i'm back after about 10 layers of better than six so <laughs> y'all my makeup like has just gone on like a dream today because i've been doing my skincare before my makeup and it really does make all the difference like everything just goes on so smooth and flawless like i don't even feel like i need to set it even though i'm not gonna set it anyway because i'm at home if I was going out, I would. But anywho, um, but my nose, the tip of my nose is getting a little oily. So I'm just gonna go in with a little Fenty powder and dry that up. Not dry it up, but you know. My nose goes oily first. Anywho, so I picked up some um, combos, y'all. Like I said, like her aesthetic for these, like how cute is this? I think this is one of her older components because the box was a little, it's a different shade of nude from the other. I want to make sure I'm still recording. So um, two point, I got nude 2.5 and then I got nude 3. These were the deeper shades. They don't, so you do have to sharpen these. It's kind of like the color pop component. So this is um, 2.5 and then I got three. So they're both like some chocolate browns. Um, I'm excited about those. Then I picked up two lippy sticks. This packaging is off the chain. So I got nude 3.5, then I got nude 6. I tried to get nudes that I don't have. Don't even go there with me. You get quite a bit of lipstick. So let me swatch this right here. It's kind of like balmy satin finish. This is, um, I'm assuming 3.5, yeah. And then this is 6, which is a straight up like cocoa. 
Ooh. Y'all, I gotta put this on today. Today. And then I got nude two gloss and nude 3.5 gloss. So nude 3.5 gloss is the same as this lipstick. We're gonna see how that swatches because they don't look the same, but okay. So this is nude two gloss. I like that. And apparently like she made her components bigger. So this is how the gloss looks. And um, you can do the combo for 40 bucks each. And this is 3.5 gloss. And that's 3.5 lipstick. That's nude six lipstick. So I think I'm gonna do uh, three liner, six um, lipstick, and then I'm gonna do two as a topper. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with three liner. Ooh, they're creamy and smooth. They just glide right on. This is pretty. So this is three liner, the darkest one. So I like, I, if you haven't noticed, like I get the same type of liners and stuff like that. I feel like this is equivalent to my chestnut and then the other one's equivalent to my cork. Like basically I get like two different shades of that. The same with the NYX liner, like the brown one is the um, chestnut and the nutmeg is the like more reddish cork. Like I always just get two shades of brown, basically. For what I wanna go, cool tone or warm tone. But I think this is about to be bomb, like a warm tone nude with like a cool tone liner. Mm-hmm. She should put fragrance in these. They smell like, uh, like, there's no fragrance. It smells, I don't know how to explain how it smells, but like, you know. So this is just it on its own with just the liner and um, nude six. I like this combo. This is cute. Like, ooh, I kind of don't even want to add a gloss. Now I feel like I want to add the 3.5 gloss. That's what I'm going to do. I hope it don't change it too much. It didn't. Mm. These products are fire. Like, wow, I'm so pleasantly surprised. Like, I love this face. Look at this combo. Okay. Okay, KKW. I don't have any, anything bad to say. This is nice. I like this classic collection. The whole aesthetic of the line is just beautiful. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do another look, actually. I think I'm just gonna leave it at this because, I mean, it's just gonna be another neutral look. So I like it. I think you should try it out if you haven't. And, but like, um, if you take that out of it, like as far as like just looking at like the makeup brand, it's pretty it's sleek. I feel like it's like futuristic, very monotone. Um, if you watch Kardashians, you know, it's very their aesthetic. Um, but I feel like it went good with all my other products. I mean, I would have wanted to try my concealer, but you know, I'm sure I'm gonna get something else because I didn't hate this stuff. So I don't see why I wouldn't buy more. Um, yeah, they didn't send me my concealer. They sent me an extra 3.5 gloss and not my concealer, which was kind of annoying. I'm gonna give that one to my best friend. Um, so yeah, I mean, and these lip products, like, I, you know, I'm a MAC lip product type of girl. Like I always use, um, and this actually looks like the lip that I did in my, um, did I do that lip in the luxury makeup try on? When I did Sultry Move and Chestnut Liner, I've been wearing that ever since. No, I tried the lip shines. I forgot when I did the MAC. 
oh i did that with the one on the instagram so yeah like um i'm rambling sorry i think that um this looks good like i'm i'm i don't feel like disappointed in any of the products i mean I feel like I got my money's worth for sure. It's something that I'm into. I'm into like neutral looks and like smoky. Like this is very me. So um, I don't really do a lot of color and like, unless I'm just deliberately trying to do color. But like when I'm at home chilling or about to go out with my family, this is like a face that I would do. So I'm happy with this. I'm ready to get into this classic, this original classic, because like this is warm tone. So I'm excited. Um, if you can get your hands on some KKW, I just wanted to put a video out because like um, you can't find any on like black girls really. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know how you think everything looked on me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.